So here's a prime example on Jeff HK's channel here on YouTube that uh, navigation isn't done on a straight line like so. It's most of them are done on an arc. So Jeff HK is a seafarer, but the same happens with air travel. They are all curved to some degree. Now this is over the Pacific, within uh, between Seattle and uh, some place in China looking like they're going to Taiwan eventually or somewhere South China. The same happens in the North Atlantic and any other major airline route. So the reason why they are curved and they aren't flat is fairly straightforward. The curve is shorter than the flat. How is that mathematically possible? Well the map is distorted. What you have actually is a globe and on the globe on a curved surface I'm gonna prove it to you, that path or that route is actually shorter than what appears to be on a straight line on a flat map. So I'm going to measure both ways. I'm going to measure in a straight line and then I'm going to measure uh, how it's charted out for most airlines or most navigational ways. Here is standard globe and we've got the same little bit of uh, North America and a little bit of uh, what is it, Asia? And let's go. I'm gonna tape the end of it fairly straightforward. We're gonna measure distance with this strip of tape here. Let's go to Seattle, like it is shown on the on the map. And I'm gonna use the bottom edge of this tape. Okay, so follow the bottom edge. The top edge, ignore. So the bottom edge is gonna be laid out nicely. Let's go to let's go to Shanghai here. Okay, let's right there and I'm gonna make a mark on the paper so you can see the bottom edge of the paper here makes a straight line that looks like a straight line if we go back to the monitor it would be a straight line on the monitor from there to above there so this is along that straight line if I make a mark here at Shanghai there uh, come on in closer so you can see that the mark is actually made at Shanghai. There you can see it. So this is the straight line. But if I reposition this strip of tape, also starting from Seattle, going over just this way, still at the bottom edge of the paper strip, there we get to Shanghai, somewhere here. Look at the difference between the two. There you have it. So this is the mark I'm making now. So it's about, I don't know, half an inch or something like that. Uh, a little more than a centimeter shorter to go this way to Shanghai. Now, that this difference here, here is the scale of the map. We're going to the scale of the map. Uh, where is it? Here it is. I found it. Going down a little bit. There. There's the scale of the map, or globe. That. Uh, that little bit of difference is approximately 350 miles. That's statute miles, not nautical miles. There. Okay, 350, close enough. So if you had to walk that, it doesn't look long on a paper strip, but if I uh, place it over, say, California, 350 miles is from Los Angeles to San Francisco, just roughly. All right, so you ha if you had to walk that distance, you'd feel it in your legs. So that's why it's just plain shorter to go on a, on a route that actually fits the globe and fits the curvature of the globe with a little bit of thinking. So just because this one looks horizontal and you don't want to climb uphill and then downhill that looks longer may not actually work the same way, all right? So that's why most navigational routes whether by sea or by air are curved and they look strange, they look longer.